Yes. CGI, but it's really CRISPR integrated. CRISPR genome integrated integration that awaits the entire human race doc. It's just like when I said, when I would say that. The entire human, the entire human genome, the entire human DNA population would be fully eradicated within the 21st century. What do I mean by this exactly? Well, let me explain. The graphite and dark matter coincide. Graphene coming from the graphite coincided with the dark matter extracted from the dark matter. Where does dark matter? Dark matter comes from space. They all go hand in hand together because they all come from the same sources. And so now we have CERN with all the scientific community dog trying to find uh, the sources of why things are the way that they are. I believe they're asking the wrong questions. They're asking questions like maybe dark matter makes its own planet. We're not asking the questions about. Okay, they're not talking about graphene or graphite. What about graphene? The same substance that was splicing DNA in the days of old. Still going on now. Still going on now, Doc. And I'm afraid if we don't wake up in time, in time, in time, in time, we us two of our own DNA shell have CRISPR on the outside, graphene on the inside. One side CRISPR, the other side graphene kills the God-given DNA, or it clones your artificial intelligence DNA for the new age, the age of Pisces, the golden age, the age of res resilience, the age of right now. They're really not the age of resistance because we fall into the same trap for every dynasty that has come before us. Just like, imagine this. This bag. This bag I have. Right here. Just like these marbles. Now, I can have three different marbles actually. There are multiple marbles. More marbles, Doc. One side, Doc. One side. You would take, imagine this bowl, the bowl as the universe. You simply take, you have different marbles. Call the blue marble Earth. Earth. So, you have this marble, this Earth, 
And then we have the two sides, one's representing light and the other one's darkness. And so you simply, you know, you have all of these, but you drop them all into the universe. They're all spiraling around. Just like that. It seems like it's sound. And then all of a sudden something hits. Hits. You have light versus darkness all in the same line of dock. Like yin and yang. Yin and yang dock. And what it is is the graphene came to earth. The graphite came to earth. They were all on rocks. Came to earth. And somehow the people that lived, the beings that had fallen from heaven, knew about the substance that were teaching on it and how to splice the DNA with the human blood, with the animal blood, to make all different creatures, sphinxes, fairies, like upon you know, that were here even at the time. The days of old, you know, and everything else. And so, now, the graphene is still here to change the DNA, to corrupt it. One part graphene, the other part. The DNA turned to graphene with CRISPR technology holding it together. One side of graphene, the other side. The building blocks are the CRISPR. But it all is just cologne connected to the end of the eyes. We have light versus darkness. Darkness. And so, we have all of this going on at the exact same time. So it's like the forces of everything here. be in resilience in order to win this battle, this final battle of our last generation die before the world as we know it is God just universe fully tips 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 to and goes vanishes forever. How can we fix this? How can we get to the bottom of this? How can we change? Change brings dark before everything gets worse. Do you know how to change this? Could we could we change the light and the darkness? Well here we have a mistake in the dark chain.
We must fight. We must continue to fight hard. So what have we chosen as a human race? We, just like the alchemical table, have chosen our own chaos, our own making, and all these desires. Yes. Yes. And yes, to the fire, eventually. Takes Sweet and sour. 